Welcome to the geometry section of the Ultimate GED Math Course. In this video, we will be looking at types of angles. Before we dive in, please note that you can get our full GED Math Course with over 250 videos, standard GED Math test questions and more at ultimateged.com. Or you can use the link in the comment section or description and pass your GED with ease. Okay, let's dive in. An angle is formed when two lines meet. We can measure these angles in degrees. The degree of the angle gives it a special name. Let's look at them. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees, so angles like 45 degrees and 30 degrees will be acute angles. If an angle is exactly 90 degrees, it is called a right angle. This is a very special angle, and it is normally represented by this square thing at the corner. Lines that meet at 90 degrees are said to be perpendicular lines. So in a question, if you are given that the lines are perpendicular, then you should know they are at 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. Example, 100 degrees and 120 degrees will be obtuse angles. The angle on a straight line or a straight angle is 180 degrees. When we divide the straight angle into several angles, the sum of the angles formed is 180 degrees. So here, if we divide this angle this way, and call this angle A and this angle B, then angle A plus angle B will be 180 degrees. This is very important. We will be using it later. A reflex angle is an angle that is greater than 180 degrees. So angle 250 degrees and 300 degrees will be examples of reflex angles. Finally, a full angle is an angle that is 360 degrees. So when you start from a point and move in a circle back to that same point, you have completed 360 degrees.